How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, I am starting here for a reason. I am highly pissed. I'm greatly offended. Now, there are many things in this world that offend people. And there are many more. Pay attention to my language. There are many more things in this world that greatly offends the royal family every millisecond. Now, so I said, what, because I know y'all see the title. Why would True Royal show this image? Because I damn near have to see it every damn day. So when I look at the rapists in my family, yes, again, the rapists in my family is disturbing to my psyche. So when I look at the $1 bill made up the way I am, I'm looking at this rapist who raped my many great grandmothers, Venus, which produced a son named Wes Ford my many great-great-grandfathers. If you notice, I have not uttered this rapist name properly or improperly. I however I'm going to say it if I say it. So if I choose for it to come out of my mouth, I'm going to say it real raggedy like. So this is what greatly offends me. Like many other things. But can you imagine where you day in and day out see the rapists in your family? It's a cold piece of work. It really continues to be but all I can do for my individual self is endure now in America we have freedom of this and freedom of that which we know is total bullshit so you have freedom to speak freedom of expression freedom of images and just on and on the land of total bullshit because the enemy and the enemy supporters want to still be massa you got us really fucked up up over here on the true royal family in the backup channel it's true royal so I'm high. I'm like on the highest tip of being offended and really motherfucking irritated as I speak. Now, I have some videos to show, to show the royal family, but I choose for a reason to read at the very end of this, to get some clarity on folks being offended and folks standing firm on their position. Okay. So, hold up. So, 
there are many in America or in this world, they are offended by Louis Farrakhan. I love him. I always have. I have often been called his little sister, you know, and I take that as a great, great, great compliment. This man left me a personal message many years ago that literally knocked me down. He don't know me. I've never met him in my life. But I've been following Farrakhan since my early teens. And as old as he is, the enemy is projecting fears. We are in the retrograde phase. Things are not what it seems. Pay attention to language. Pay attention to the language. I'm going to play these videos. I got three videos to play. Then I have something to read to the royal family. But please, trust and believe. Pay attention to language. So, get my little drink on. Fruit punch again. Okay. Let's get into this bullshit. Black Lives Matter mural is sparking some backlash for its inclusion of a controversial figure. Some Greenberg residents are demanding the painting be removed. But as News 12's Nadia Galindo tells us, those who support the mural say keeping it up is a matter of remembering black history. A mural meant to celebrate black history and the Black Lives Matter movement is now a symbol of hate to some. The controversy is centered on this painting of Louis Farrakhan, a polarizing figure who also organized the Million Man March on Washington in 1995. Cliff Abrams was there. The minister means so much to the black community. He's an icon. Abrams advocated for this mural that is located underneath I-287 on Manhattan Avenue in the town of Greenberg. The town board has decided to paint over the image of Farrakhan. Fairview Greenberg is a black community, so it's like the town trying to dictate to us who, we, who our heroes are. Abrams was joined by a group of supporters who want this piece of the mural to stay, but others find it offensive because Farrakhan has made numerous controversial statements about Jews and the LGBTQ community. The Southern Poverty Law Center labels the head of the Nation of Islam anti-Semitic. I'm not, you know, going to defend anything that the minister said. And I think they took a lot of stuff he said out of context. A spokesperson for the Westchester Jewish Council said in a statement, Farrakhan is one of the country's most prominent anti-Semites and his long and public history of anti-Jewish and other bigoted comments makes his inclusion in this project completely improper. Farrakhan um, uh, called on Hitler, a great man. Town Supervisor Paul Feiner says an image of Farrakhan was never part of the plan, pointing to these original sketches of the mural approved by the town. The town paid $100,000 of taxpayer money for the mural, and Feiner says they didn't get what they paid for. It's not being paid for by private you know, individuals, and we don't want to offend Abram says the painting sparks difficult conversations, which is why he is fighting to keep it up. Supervisor Feiner says he expects the painting of Farrakhan to be painted over in the next week. In the town of Greenberg, Nadia Galindo, News 12. The uh, mural controversy highlights Greenberg's struggle to outwardly celebrate diversity. A sign celebrating Black Lives Matter and condemning hate was vandalized back in 20, May of 2021 and replaced last February. Cool. All right, so uh, we got two more videos to um, do. Then let me put this one on um, mute so we won't get a pop up. And I'm going to tell y'all what, if I 
was the artist what I would do in this particular situation and also um, any other jobs that he may get in the near future. I, I'm going to tell I'm going to tell y'all that that's you know after all of this. So anyhow, um, take this image, um, this um, down all the way so we won't get any pop-ups. And we're going to listen to the next video. Y'all know I have a tendency to overlap, but I go to different news outlets so we can get a full body and the best completion. Um, you know how I get down over here, my royal family. So anyhow, as we continue on. Is an artist's effort to unify a Westchester community is now mired in controversy. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports at issue here is an image of the Nation of Islam leader Louis Farrakhan. At 2,500 square feet, the Black Lives Matter mural on Manhattan Avenue under I-287 is filled with powerful imagery, including depictions of Kenneth Chamberlain Sr. and Dan Roy Henry, two men killed by police in Westchester. It's our history and it should not be erased. But some want this piece of the mural painted over. Minister Louis Farrakhan, controversial leader of the Nation of Islam. He has spoken out against uh, the Jewish community, the Asian community, the LGBT community. Greenberg Supervisor Paul Feiner supported public funding for the mural. He says it should not include a divisive figure such as Farrakhan. Farrakhan was not in the sketch submitted by the designer. Community activist Clifton Abrams says the sketch was not a blueprint and the artist had freedom to add elements. The Honorable Minister Farrakhan is a black leader. He did the Million Man March. He had over a million people in 1995. We're going to dismiss that black people look at Minister Farrakhan as a leader. Some communication issues seem to be at play here as well. On Thursday, the town board, including the two African-American members, put out a statement saying the artist had agreed to paint over the image of Louis Farrakhan. Monday, members of the Nation of Islam visited the site as muralist Kindo Art talked about the controversy. I haven't made a, a decision to do anything. I wasn't really sure where we stood. Um, I was kind of told that all funding could be pulled from the project. The mural is on state property. Monday, a state inspector stopped by and took pictures. The community waiting to see how this controversy is resolved. In Greenberg, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. All right, we my royal family. Happening in New Jersey. Police and Let me take that down, take that down. Excuse me for that. Let me take that down quickly. Okay, so we have heard the artist speak on some things. And then we have heard Paul Finer with his racist to the core ass re repeat the same thing that we have heard over and over and want to take Minister Lewis Farrakhan's words out of content. All of these are lies, you know. All of this stuff is at your f fingertip. I'm not going to be sh showing videos where he didn't had to explain to nausea um, these things he have said. And these people are fake as hell. They think taking a hundred grand, putting some shit on the wall, supposed to, um, I guess, take care of our immediate situation. So they be having a lot of funding in their hand. So this control freak, racist to the core motherfucker, he want to see shit on the wall that makes him feel a certain way about himself. So they get off on seeing pictures of the dead or pictures of us looking like coons and all of that. So I ain't fooled by none of this but it shows you how the enemy gets down now i'm holding back for a reason because i'm gonna unleash you know true royal gonna bring it 
But we got one more video. Then I got something to read. And I got a whole lot to say. People play too many fucking games. We begin with new developments tonight in a story News 12 first broke last week. The artists who worked on the Black Lives Matter mural in Greenberg are now speaking out. They are standing in solidarity against the town's decision to paint over an image of Minister Louis Farrakhan. News 12's Nadia Galindo has the story. The town of Greenberg has vowed to paint over this image of Minister Louis Farrakhan. It's weird that it's controversial. I didn't think that it would be that type of thing. Kando Art is the lead artist on the project going up underneath I-287 on Manhattan Avenue in Greenberg. To see it altered in any way, uh, censored in any way, I think that that's something that, um, I don't think that's something that any of us up here would want to see. It would be very hurtful for them to cover it. News 12 first told you about the controversy last week surrounding the image of the leader of the Nation of Islam. The Westchester Jewish Council finds Farrakhan offensive because of past comments, which they have labeled as anti-Semitic. But members of the black community see Farrakhan as a great leader who promotes unity and has tackled tough issues. He taught me to love myself and not to hate who I am. Because that's what I learned by being an African-American person. There is now growing support in Westchester County and beyond to keep this image included in the mural. Bad or good, it's history. No one gets to erase history. You can't have respect for one religion and not for another. This is religious intolerance. Town Supervisor Paul Feiner tells News 12 the image of Farrakhan was never included in the original renderings. But Kando Art says he was given artistic freedom to make alterations. That was always understood that that was a launch point for where we were going to be going. Feiner says town officials are amending the contract with the artist to replace unauthorized images and alternatives to replace the image of Farrakhan are being explored. In Greenberg, Nadia Galindo, All right. News 12. My royal family. We Shut that down. So. Now I have something to read. To the royal family. I want y'all to listen real because I, you know, I'm often saying pay close attention to language. Get to the juicy parts. Okay, there we go. So basically, they're saying here that, um, the town board has decided to paint over the image of Farrakhan. Greenberg town supervisor Paul Finer says a image of Farrakhan was never part of the approved sketches. He added that the town spent a hundred thousand in taxpayer money on the mural. It's not being paid for by private individuals, and we don't want to offend anyone in the town, he said. Now, how is that possible? How is that possible? We're all individuals. I just showed y'all what offends me. Do you think they're going to remove the $1 bill because it offends me? Because that's a rapist to me? They would look at me like I'm crazy. You can't satisfy the masses. As we continue on. So Finer said the decision to remove Farrakhan has been made and it should be painted over in the week. A spokesman for the Westchester, excuse me, Jewish community released the following racist statement. So, the Westchester Jewish Council, I said that wrong. Well, I said I read that all wrong. <laughs> I ain't gonna even clean it up. Welcomes the celebration 
of African Americans accomplishments through the um, Manhattan Avenue uh, mural project. The inclusion of Louis Farrakhan, however, was wrong, hurtful, and inappropriate. Farrakhan is one of the country's most prominent <laughs> anti, 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 again, anti, submitted, and has long public history of anti, here we go again, Jewish and other bigoted comments makes his inclusion in the project completely improper. We thank the Greenberg Town Board for taking action and ordering Farrakhan's depiction in the mural be removed. Okay? Now, you notice in the video, in the videos, there was, was speaking to the artist, there was, you know, communication, an issue, all right? Retrograde, communication, an issue, all right? Keep that on your frontal lobe. So um, the board also released this statement. An image of Louis Farrakhan on the mural was never approved by the town and will be removed. Pursuant to the content between the town and the artist, the mural design required approval by the Black Lives Matter Committee. Okay, that's why I don't give a damn about Black Lives Matter because they start getting them damn coins too and they start becoming the enemies. Support her. Again. The mural design required approval by the Black Lives Matter Committee, its Manhattan Avenue mural subcommittee, and the town board, while the artist's interpretation of artistic expression was welcome, and the addition of Louis Farrakhan and several other people were never approved by the town, Black Lives Matter, Manhattan Avenue mural subcommittee therefore voted to remove the unauthorized imagery. Again, the Black Lives Matter, Manhattan Avenue mural Subcommittee therefore voted to remove the unauthorized imagery. The artist has agreed that Louis Farrakhan will be taken off of the mural and the image will be removed this week, adding content and continue to require town approval. We look forward to celebrating the completion of this mural, which is celebrated a celebration of black history. This, I mean, this article is pissing me off. The Greenberg Town Board continues to support that the town's Black Lives Matter initiative and comments to continue support through the Black Lives Matter committee, the Greenberg against um, systematic, um, systemic, excuse me, systemic racism task force, the human rights committee, and other endeavors. The Greenberg town board stands united against racism, anti, submitted, sexism, anti, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, X, Y, and any other new letters you can make up. The alphabet crew. Oh, we're not, we're not the alphabet crew, the, the, um, the gangster something. Y'all get it all right. I, I got, I'm just messing this all up. I, I don't edit anything. I'm going to keep it real and raw. The Greenberg does not believe in censorship 
of artist expression and acknowledge um, protest as a valid form of political expression. That is a damn lie. That is a damn lie. That is an insult, a continuous insult to our intelligence. So when I break it all down, my royal family, we're going to start with Massa. We know how they get down. And that Paul Finer wanted down like immediately. I would have told the motherfucker, start licking the wall. Yeah, that's what I would have told him. But I get there about what I would have done being the artist. Okay. Then we got different people out there saying feel good words, but then we find out Black Lives Matter is all could up all into it and they are in agreement. Yeah, and the reason why they are in agreement because they don't want their coins affected. They don't want their immediate situation jacked off. This is all about money at the end of the day. It has nothing to do with politics. I mean, you can add politics in it if you want to, but I just see money, 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 and we know how Black Lives Matter and got down that um, they've been buying houses, and I'm not saying these people aren't supposed to have something, but shit, really? These dollars come from from the, the hard-earned dollars. Um, the majority of them come from, you know, well, let's put it like this. There's a portion of our hard, hard on dollars go to Black Lives Matter. And then you got um, the enemy, you know, because they ain't nothing but attack right, right off to them, so-called supporting them. But they dictate and tell you your comings and your goings. And so now we get into the artist. He a motherfucking coon with his weed ass head. Clear yourself up out there taking care of you taking care of business. He wants that money at the end of the day. And I can understand people wanting to get paid and all of that too. So, you know, are you an artist that is also an activist? Are you an artist that don't get caught up in that shit? And I'm going to do whatever master tell me, keep it moving. Well, you come off like an artist that is an activist. And, and if I was a art, um, him being an artist, yes, True Royal would also be an activist and I would express, because, express myself because these are the talents, these are the gifts that Yahweh has blessed you or I with. I would express myself on how I feel about our community um, being disrespected every millisecond. And so... Just me per se, because we all different. And I'm asking y'all this too, you know, as I'm speaking, um, what you would have done. So as I continue on, I would have um, basically painted over all the shit and take everybody down and leave the shit right there and fuck them all. That's what I would have done. Since you want to be funky like that, you seen a depiction of Malcolm X up there. Take, why you didn't take him down? See, when um, when they dead, when our, our heroes or our sheroes are dead, then, you know, then you got all this great love for them. Y'all didn't even have great love for Martin Luther King. And we got a lot of our folks that has been very disrespectful towards Martin Luther King. Then that man admitted that he had made mistakes. I have admitted. You have admitted. We have admitted. Always remain a master stoop. So that's exactly what I would have did. I'd be like, fuck all of y'all. Y'all want to play these little chinchy games? Because at the end of the day, what I don't like is a motherfucker coming at me like he the master and going to tell me what to do. I got an issue with that. I'll go homeless first. I'll go hungry first because they dictating. That's the shit that gets to me. That's the shit that offends me. I must get off of here because 
I am extremely angry. Mm -mm -mm. Father. Mm. So I'm going to leave it there, my royal family. And do what you do best. Render your voice with your beautiful, divine words. And as always, my royal family, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, I'll